Hey everyone, question for you. What does the phrase, to you, dear viewer, what does the phrase, Jesus is Lord, mean to you? What is this, what is the significance of this phrase, Jesus is Lord? Indeed, the word Lord itself, what does that mean to you? And specifically, what does it mean historically? What did it mean when the early Christians first started saying things like, Jesus is Lord? How did that come across in our day? Or in their day, I mean. You see, in our day, the phrase Jesus is Lord is usually just taken as a sort of, oh, that's a religious person who believes X, Y, or Z. So the phrase, Jesus is Lord, means something completely different than what it meant in the first century. You see, when you said that in the first century, what you were doing is you were inadvertently challenging the lordship of others. So if you said, Jesus is Lord, you were kind of implying to a lot of people that Caesar was not Lord. More than that also though, and that would get you into a ton of hot water, but more than that, you are also making a, a sort of statement against the gods. You are also saying that the gods you serve are not Lord, that they're not, that they're not real, they're just stones, they're just whatever. And so by saying Jesus is Lord, by saying there's only one God, as the Jews did, and as the Christians did as well, you are getting yourself in hot water with the state, because Caesar said he was Lord, in accordance with the general polytheism of the day, which is an extremely interesting topic that I'll get into a little later, uh, specifically on the topic of uh, Dionysus. The gods are not what we think. But back then, if you said that, you would get into, so you'd get into trouble with the state, but you'd also be at odds with the gods of the people of that day. You were saying your God was the only real God. And so Tom Holland made a very interesting video where he talked about how the Christians, when they, the Christian missionaries, when they went into certain areas, they would say to the people there, hey, these forests, they're just trees. There are no gods there in these forests, as, as the people did believe that there were gods in the forests. You see, interestingly, uh, in the same way that I've noticed in certain, um, uh, I've seen some stories up here in Canada where the original natives were actually af af aboriginals were afraid to climb the mountains because of the, what they feared the gods were up there. And also too, the, uh, the people believed that there were gods in the forest. And so I think uh, part of Tom Holland's thesis is, and I, someone, he, someone can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but the gods actually played an important role in the people's symmetry with nature, according to how they saw fit. But when the Christians came in, they said, look, all your gods are not there. They don't exist. And there's only one God, and there's only one Lord. Jesus is Lord. And so particularly in the case of forests, what did they do? They said, there are no gods here. They're just trees. And so then they went in and they chopped down all the trees. So in that case, Jesus is Lord meant so much more than just what is your religion. Jesus is Lord means we are going to banish the gods out of your forests. There are no gods there. We will banish your silly fictions. fictions. And indeed they did. And they cut down the trees. Now I have something to show you here. This is by no means a slight against this company. I think they're a perfectly reputable company that provides a product that a lot of people want. So I'm not, it's not at all a slight against the company. But there's a logging company up here in Canada, and I'm just gonna show you some of the 
uh, some there this huge stockpile of trees that they brought in from the forests surrounding this small town so have a look here if you can see this can you see all that all these it's amazing all these all this logging taken from this forest and indeed I'm not I'm not making a statement, an environmental statement, or I'm not complaining about it either, or complaining about the company. But I just wanted to show you this. Maybe that's a better view. Yeah, there's a better view. It truly is amazing. And then it's logged and then packaged and sold. And a lot of people, like myself included, have de definitely used uh, quality wood like this. But getting back to my point before the Christians came in before those saying Jesus is Lord came in the the natives to the to many of these lands that they came into would never have done anything like that they never would have chopped down all that much wood on such a mass industrial scale and so I have very something very interesting to show you here at this logging company because it fits with what Tom Holland said and the, this, this video here. Right the way back to the Hebrew prophets, you know, who precede Christianity, what they are preaching is a kind of desacralization of the world. They look at springs and trees and mountaintops and they say there are no gods there. There are no spirits there. Uh, you know, this is just stock and stone. God is up there. Uh, and this is something that obviously Christians inherit so that when, you know, Christian missionaries go out into the dripping woods of Saxony, they chop down the, you know, the great trees that are sacred to the Norse gods, the Nordic gods, the Germanic gods, and say, look, these are just trees. Yeah. And they chop them up and turn them into chapels. Um... And so in light of that video of Tom Holland, what he just said there about how Christians uh, chop down the trees, which I'm not complaining or I'm not either condemning or praising, by the way. But you'll notice an interesting thing. This is the company I was showing you with all the uh, with all the wood back there, which by the way is a perfectly reputable company. I just want to show you what is the slogan underneath the sun, underneath the name. Jesus is Lord. And that fits so perfectly with what Tom is saying. And so, in this case, Jesus is Lord means a lot of things to different people. But in this case, historically speaking, it becomes obvious what this means here. Jesus is Lord means we, we have Christianity has triumphed and we have banished all the gods who used to live in the forest. We have banished them out. And the supremacy of Christianity reigns, which is in indicative of all the uh, logging that's been done here. It is truly amazing. You do indeed live in Christendom.